For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. All right guys, let's do this other problem which says replace a loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point A. So you start this problems by breaking down the forces into X and Y components. This four has a Y component and in this way, X component aim in that way, Y component aim in this way, X component aim in that way. So let's call this uh, F of one and this F of two. So this will be F of two Y, F of two X. This is F of one Y and this is F of one X. So let's start with F of one. F of one in the X is equal to 150 times three all over five. And it comes out to be 90. F of one in the Y is equal to 150 negative because it's going down times four over five. And it comes out to be minus 120. So F of one is equal to 90 I minus 120 J. F of two in the X is equal to 100 times four over five, and it's going towards the negative, towards the left. So that means that it's, it is equal to negative 80 in the I. And F of two of Y is equal to minus, because it's going down, 100 times three over five, and it can start to be negative 60 in the J. So f of 2 is equal to minus 80i minus 60j. Now, now that we have the x and y components, let's find the resultant force. Let's call this one f3. f3 is equal to 50 going to the right, so positive 50 in the i. So f of r is equal to f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 and when you basically add the i's with the i's and the j's with the j's there's no j in this one you're gonna get the Cartesian vector form of the resultant force which comes out to be 60 in the i minus 180 in the j now the magnitude of this resultant force is given by the x component square plus the y component square. When you plug in these two values into this formula, you get that the magnitude is equal to about 190 pounds. Forces are given in pounds. That's the resultant force. As you can see, it goes to the right 60 and it goes down negative 180. This angle, let's call it theta is given by the tangent inverse of the y over the x and it comes out to be 71.6 degrees going down so I'm going to call it negative 71.6 you can call it positive 71.6 it's up to you and this is the magnitude now the sum of the moments at a the first moment is being created by f of 1 of y times this lever arm of 3 so it's f1 of y is equal to 120, so it's 120 times 3. Now if you keep going to the right, yeah, this f of 2 of y is turning this long lever arm up with a length of 6, also clockwise. Let's say clockwise is positive. So this is positive, positive f of 2 of y is equal to 60, and the length of this long lever arm that is turning clockwise is equal to 6 times 6 and there's one more force don't forget this one which is f of 2 of x and it's turning counterclockwise so it's minus and f of 2 of x is equal to 80 and this length right here is one foot so that's one feet so this the addition comes out to be 640 distances are in feet and forces are in pounds, 640 foot pounds.
now notice that this is creating a moment this is creating a moment this is not creating a moment because it's aiming straight away from a f of one of x is also not creating a moment because it's aiming straight away from a and f of one of y is creating a moment so final answer for the moment final answer for the magnitude of the resultant force final answer for the angle of that resultant force Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.